I don't know if you can hear, but we've got a crazy, crazy wind again today. The wind has been absolutely horrible here the last few days. My, uh, my poor neighbor, he had a garage set up that he was just building. And as you can see, the wind uh, took a toll on it. Unfortunately, he didn't have the didn't have the roofing on. Pretty major winds this last night and today, and just haven't had a chance to really get out. Uh, so I'm going to try and get out this afternoon. Well, it's April 10th. We finally made it out into the blind. Got set up. We tried to come out a couple other times this beginning of the month, but it was just so windy. Today's even windy. Yesterday was gorgeous. I should have came out yesterday, but I was so tired. And after getting off work, I slept until about 5.30 in the afternoon, so. Anyway, but it's, it's a beautiful day. It's warm, but we do have a pretty good breeze. I'm down in a little valley here. I was hoping it would break the wind, but that wind's actually just coming straight down through here. But the good thing is uh, our sound should carry out through this uh, bottom. And if there's any turkeys in here, we should be able to get their attention if they're at that stage. So we've killed um, killed turkeys in here before. I know early spring walleye fishing down here at the dam, I've heard them in here, so I know that they're, and I've killed one in here uh, COVID year 2020 at about five yards. You can see that video, uh, just go back back to 2020 videos and you'll see that uh, five yard shot that I made on him through a tree line. Yeah, I just figured this would be a good spot. I was hoping we were a little bit more out of the wind, but it's not too bad. This blind is pretty good when it comes to wind, even if it's 360 view. I've got the backdrop up today, so we're kind of blacked out. But we're gonna get, uh, got everything situated here. We're gonna get the calls going. See if we can't get something to answer us. It's about 11.30, getting close to noon. So that's usually about the time that these toms start breaking off from hens, if they're even, if they're even to that stage. I don't know with the weather being the way it is. It's hard to tell what they're, what kind of stage they're in right now. But we had a huge snowstorm a couple uh, last month, about three weeks ago. Not even three weeks, probably two. Yeah, it's been about two weeks now. And we got dumped on, blizzard-like conditions. So that may have set them back a little bit. Really haven't had nice enough weather for them to be anywhere near going, but we'll see what happens here. At least we're not hunting in 30 degree weather like we normally do early season. So let's get the calls out. I got the decoys out about 13, 14 yards. They're gonna have to walk past my shooting lane to get to them if they decide to challenge that that uh, funky chicken. I should be able to get a good shot on him from either direction. I've got this window here, so we should be good. The only thing I don't have a problem with is these damn decoys are wanting to spin on me. Hopefully the wind won't be blowing quite as hard when they come in, but it's just that one hen, for some reason she likes to spin and do the do the poltergeist thing in the wind. The other one, she's fine. I've tried leaning her forward to kind of put more weight or more pendulum towards the front of, facing the wind or against the wind, but uh, we'll see. Funky chicken, he's not really doing much, so we should be all right. That wind's coming and going, so hopefully we get their attention long enough to get a shot off. All right, enough babbling. Let's get some calls out. Wow, 
if this spot pans out. Be pretty cool to kill one in here. You think I'd be used to this wind by now? We go through it every year in early spring. It just gets old after a while. Trying to practice, get bows set up, get ready. It's all right. I'm gonna keep a positive attitude today. So we got the got the bow all set up. Um, we're still waiting on our our sunshade and lens for this new uh, black gold sight, and then that uh, side to side bar, that longer bar. We're needing that. So, but I think I've got it dialed in to where we should be okay. I just have to sh fudge it a little bit to the right or bring it over on my nose to make up for it but it's not bad at 20 yards it's it's hitting dead on so we should be fine so got wasp mechanicals again I'm always shooting these wasps I love these broadheads mechanical broadheads they're uh, I think these are jackhammers smaller ones 100 grain we got four fletch on these this year uh, gold tip hunter pros I think I'll be shooting that this year with uh, my 3d setup we'll have the same thing just lighter these have uh, I've got 25 grain uh, weight in the front of these so they're in these are coming in about 430 grains or so 432 something like that so really not not a bad setup uh, probably around that 10 11 uh, FOC so pretty pretty well pretty well set up arrow um, they fly really good with that four fletch uh, we got the shield cut uh, blazer veins the X twos I think or whatever they call them but uh, they're a really nice profile Let's see that got about two two degree offset on them so not a lot on a four fletch I really don't want to put a lot of helical or anything on them they start to kind of fight each other I think wouldn't you do that with a four fletch that's why I like mechanicals. I just brush that string with that broad head. That's a good spinner.
forgot the ultra view button today. Like I said, I've got this thing set pretty hot or pretty uh, cold. I've had it light and, uh, since I've got it, and it, I'm just really punchy with it. So I decided to to really stiffen it up, so I can have to pull through it. Seems to be working pretty good. I just practiced about three or four hours yesterday with it. <clears throat> We'll just have to keep our eyes open here because if they're not really uh, in any kind of mood, they may come in silent just to check things out. We'll give this a couple hours. If it doesn't pan out, we'll, uh, we'll probably move on. pretty loud because of this wind. I want to get that out there. My plan is kind of uh, set this out for a little bit. Maybe sleep here and there. And hopefully something comes tracking through. If you can hear that wind. You can see I got it. Oh, I gotta turn that off. That could screw gosh damn. That could screw a hunt up quick. I hear oh I hear a hen. We got hens over here. <laughs> we got hens already. Here, here, here's that. We got another hunter coming in, but I don't think so. It's not shotgun season yet. Next weekend. here yet. Wow. That's cool just to hear a hand though.
He's done. Oh, man. I was, I was pretty nervous about this release because I got really, man, I got like a heart rate going. And I had the camera stand right next to me, so I had to like try not to bump that with my bow. And I was like, oh man, if I pull this back and I'm in that, if I'm in that, uh, I didn't even have time to turn on the, I mean, I had time, but I wasn't even thinking about it. I forgot all about the GoPro. Holy cow, that happened so quick. I was not expecting to see that, that many turkeys that quick. Wow, there's t two or three more over there coming in. Looks like there's two toms over there. This place is a haven, man. You see the toms over there? I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, they're running. Big Tom still standing on the hill, the one that he came in with. There's some beautiful birds down in this area too. I shot that one that I shot at five yards couple, uh, in 2020. He had a like a almost a tiger striping to his to his uh, fan. It's really beautiful. And. Uh, I don't know what this one looks like. I'm hoping he's a Tom. I assume they were both Toms because they were together, but I don't know. I just picked the first one that walked into the, walked into my sights and just let him have it. I didn't, you know what? I honestly don't even remember aiming. I just, I, I probably got lucky to be honest with you. I was worked up big time. I mean, watching them come in behind me and wondering if it was gonna happen. And then they kind of fed real real slow across here. And I was having a heck of a time with the camera trying to get on them because of the netting and the way that the, I've only got one window here. And uh, I had the one hen come in behind us and, he, and she was chirping. And I'm like, man, she's gonna blow these guys out of here. The two hens went around the decoys on the other side and the toms were kind of following them a little bit. So I'm like, well, if they do spook, they're gonna kind of go walk in to my line of sight. And that's kind of what they did. If they would have backtracked and came back this way, I would have dropped this back window and tried to get a quick shot on one. But holy cow, I cannot believe that happened already. We can only get two this year. They they dropped the tags from three to two this year, so. But that's fine. You know, I I kind of want to get out and do some fishing. So, if I can get these t turkeys tags filled right away, just give me more time to go out and fish and do 3D tournaments and things like that, and I have to worry about it. was going to be, I knew that they were in here, they heard us, they came in behind me, there's another one right there, I think that's a turkey, well maybe not, I don't know, but anyway, they came in off this hill. I walked in from that side, so they must have been up here on that shelter belt line. There's a shelter belt that runs up this hill. And I'll bet you they were up there out of the wind. And they dropped down. There's a little creek bottom that runs through here on this side. That is a freaking turkey. Hey, having to spread these guys out in the, in the wind, but yeah, look, he's a Good mature bird. That's 
It's always fun trying to get these wings to stay out. Not a, not a real old, I mean, his spurs are nice. Where did I hit him? Oh, that, yeah, that was right in the, I think the arrow's still in him. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a broadhead right there. So he came in. Came in right here, went out the, went out the side. He must have been quartering the way. So that broadhead didn't make it all the way through, but it uh, it blasted him good enough to put him down. There we go. Now we can get it out. Yeah. So it came out. Came out right here. Actually, it was it was perfect. It was right right through here. Right, bot midsection, right above the the, right above the legs. So, yeah, it just got hung up on the on the skin on the other side. Broadhead's still in good shape, I think. And there might be some stuff down in that, but yeah, it snapped right in half. It's about perfect. They flew fly, flew true, flew pretty true in there. Oh, that's a big bird. I'll show you. There's his beard, not a huge beard, but he does have some pretty nice spurs for this area. See that? They're not bad. These spurs are always usually, I mean, you can hang them off there a little bit, but yeah, gorgeous. Awesome day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Um, Hopefully we get some more hunts in for you this year. Stay safe out there in your hunts, everybody. We'll catch you on the next video.